If you are using Bitnami WordPress in AWS LightSail, it is very easy to set up SSL. For example, this master-editor.com is a Bitnami WordPress installation and it is missing SSL. We will see how to set up HTTPS on this website. Amazon LightSail has nice documentation on the details of the process. Bitnami has a built-in tool named BeanCert which takes care of installing an SSL certificate. This tool works on top of CertBot. This command starts the process of installing SSL. I have SSH to the server and will run the command. If I go back to the dock we can see if the output is correct. If BeanCert tool was not installed we would see a command not found message. In the recent version of Bitnami, BeanCert is by default available so it is unlikely that you will see this command not found message. In case you see a command not found message you have to follow these steps. Otherwise, go to step 5 to enable HTTPS on your WordPress instance. After the bensert command, my screen looked like this, and I will get back to the terminal. I have to give the domain name for which I want to install an SSL certificate. If you have multiple domains, list them all here separated by space. It is good to generate certificates both for www and non-www versions of the domain. Because some browsers consider those as different domains and may show an error message to the user if one of the certificates is missing. If you install the certificate for non-www version and use www forwarding from your domain both certificates may not be necessary. But it is better to be safe than sorry and installing certificates for both versions does no harm. I will enable HTTP to HTTPS redirection, so that users will always land on the HTTPS site. I want the only non-WWW site to be accessible, so will not redirect to the WWW version. Enabling WWW to non-WWW redirection will make sure users get into the non-WWW site. If you want to keep both or want to keep only the WWW site, respond properly here. Of course, I have to agree to their terms to use it. An email address to communicate with me. This email is handy if there is an issue with automatic renewal and you will get an email regarding that. It will take a bit of time to complete the process and then you will be done. You will see a success message and you will be all good. If any error happens it will appear here and you have to fix it. Let's now check the website. It is an HTTP before installing, and I will reload the page. It is now an HTTPS and the browsers say the connection is secure. After installing check in different browsers, and with both HTTP and HTTPS. This certificate will auto-renew, and if that fails you will get an email.